Now this is actually from the assembled line and as you can see everything has about two colors. Everything's two-toned, you know, and as you can tell the colors fit into this whole fashion crowd. Everyone here is wearing grey, black or white anyway. Fashionistas won't have qualms splurging on a local brand like Woods & Woods that goes from 239 and upwards to about 500 plus for the jackets. But why? We speak to some of them to find out. What do you guys think of the Woods & Woods show? Um, I think it's great, especially the music and the speed because, you know, in most shows, they're very fast. <laughs> So I really love the speed, how the models work, because you can get to see the details of the fabric and the details of the clothing, etc. Yeah, it's now, great. Now, what did you think of the collection? Um, basically, I think it's uh, it's very androgynous for the girls, and I um and I like the and I like the coats and stuff. Um, it's it's quite interesting. Uh, like it's not something that you see every day. Now, are you two also in fashion? Um, I'm not a fashion student, but I I appreciate fashion, but I don't study fashion. Yeah. And what about yourself? Um, yeah, I, I study fashion and actually I carry my own label, just starting out LHLY. I see. Yeah. So for someone like you, uh, what does Woods & Woods represent? Basically, I really like the way, um, their uniqueness because they're unique in their own, like, they're quite dull in using the colours. And I really like it because it gives you the very soft feeling. Like when you look at them, you just feel very sensational. Yeah. <laughs> so, what did you find so special about this collection? Um, basically, I think it's the metrosexual look, and also the like back to nineteen, the World War Two, uh, yeah, armor uh, jacket uh, kind of a detail, uh, yeah, like, and the yeah. boots and all the trousers full. For the, for the women, you look like men, kind of. Yeah, kind of very thing. interesting. Yeah. Like um, the way they style everything. Um, like the girls, right? I mean, none of them are wearing any dresses or stuff. I mean, the guys look like some of them wore dresses, though. Yeah, yeah. a bit. And some of their coats Jay are like a coats. bit. So, yeah. So it, it's it's very interesting the way they play them, like the way they match everything together. Yeah. So if you were dating a guy, would you want him to wear stuff like that? I don't mind. I love it. I love the guys. As long as you can, uh, <laughs> in the show, they look. The they have that look. Uh, you know, uh, just there. <laughs> oh, they're they're checking out the models who are just behind us. So they're just ogling oh, like, them. Did you think it, the silhouettes were familiar or very different? Um, it's actually very in nowadays because I I saw that I noticed that the trousers, yeah, they always use the belt and like the folds around the waist area. I don't know how you say it, but like I I really like that, like a bit. High High waist, especially for the girls, the like harem pants. Yeah, like the harem pants, which make my ass look bigger. But yeah. <laughs> and you were saying something just now? Oh yeah, I mean, I noticed that most of the guys, right, um, they are wearing drop drop crotch pants. Or like, what do you call it? I think I think that's the term, right? And, and then um, for the girls, right, um, their, their coats, are, I, I realized that uh, most of them are oversized, but I feel that they can still pull it off. Yeah. So like, y'all are petite, so everything will be oversized for y'all anyway. Yeah, like. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy, just buy off the rest. Yeah. And that's why we also like the collection because like we are quite skinny like the model so we actually will wear things like that out yeah, yeah. lucky you guys <laughs> and for me I, I like um the simple color and like the the prints I, I don't like very for me like, for my style I don't like um, very colorful things um I, I just like it to like to keep it simple like black white gray uh, thing it's very typical fashion crowd colors black white or gray black white white yeah, it's a safeness to play around, seriously. Yeah. You can go funky even with these colours. Yeah. yeah. See, like, she got big, big black flower in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she has a baby pattern. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is your own design. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> so we'll look forward to seeing more of your designs. Thank you so much, girl. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Hello, Dini. Hi. Okay, now you have a blog yeah. as well that talks about fashion, right? Mm, yeah. So you definitely have opinions about the show. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Okay, so tell us. The show was really great for me because, like, um, Jonathan being a local boy um, his cuts of the fabric is really nice the minor detailing is amazing and uh, I, I think he was inspired by some Russian stuff and the parachute and it really comes through in the patchwork of the shirt itself and stuff and it's just amazing how one can use felt as a material to make coats and stuff. I know, you wouldn't think something that's used in arts and crafts could, yeah, be. could be used in, in coats and stuff. And how we invert the 
uh, obvious like for the zippers right it was exposed mm. outside and the lapels it was really amazing and he used the crotch detailing of the pants on the shirt itself I, I find it really amazing really? Which yes. I didn't notice on, that one on, on like the most of the felt uh, outfit there will be like that U shape over there ah. On the shirt itself Because usually no one Use it on the shirt They will use it on pants I see yeah. So that actually belongs To the crotch area Yeah crotch area But he lifted it up to the. How do you know that? Uh, I'm a fashion designer also So I think it's amazing mm-hmm. yeah, I'm a fashion student and stuff. What, Where are you studying? Uh, NAFA Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts I yeah. see So are you also Like into menswear? Or I'm are you Into menswear most of the time And not mostly women's wear yeah. Now what do you think of Woods and Woods as a local label? I think it's amazing. Like he made it big through in the Europe. So I think it's really amazing. Like I just do you think I'm it succeeded though. I mean it's not easy for any brand yeah. to succeed, let alone succeed in Europe. I think he came with a simple concept but he make made it like show throughout his collection. Mm. That's that's really important. Like he delivers and stuff. And it's really accessible to the market where he his designs are like um, unisex. It's it's kind of unisex, uh, appropriate for anyone. Yeah. Do you think they're accessible in terms of price, though? Uh, price, I'm not really sure. I, I think it's quite pricey also, but it's an investment because it's mostly outers, pants, and not so much of shirts during his show. Mm. So I think it's an investment piece where you can use it on and on again. Yeah. So any of the pieces stood out to you? Uh, I like the yellow felt. Um, Felt jacket, yeah, the, the coat. finale piece. Yeah. Why? Why did that stand out to you? Besides the color, the only being the only color thing, you know. And I think if you zoom in, right, on the detailing of the stitches, I think it's really hard to do it because I can't figure out how did he sew that thing. So when something that can't be sewn, I can't figure it out. I think it's my favorite. I think it's really difficult <laughs> and intricate. So as long as you can't figure it out, it's a puzzle and yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. Now, if you had to rate the show, how would you rate this? Uh, on a local s- scale, ten point ten. International, eight point five. I say. Wow. That's pretty high Even for international Yeah Yeah, I think he really deli- Delivers this time So he definitely Brings it even yes, International definitely, yeah. So I'm here With fashion show Favourite of ours <laughs> Kenny <laughs> Now you are uh, A definite Woods and Woods fan A Woods and Woods fan Yeah right From the beginning Right from Always the Yeah I supported them today Even with the hair Yes Because Jonathan just has this Immaculate vision and precision and and just this really amazing like um, perspective on on what is coming and what is to come and 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 for menswear really I think he is the true vision in Asia so we we'll always the, support that David wearing stuff like that too. Yeah, certain aspects of it, yeah. The very classic, the very beautiful, you know, like tailored pieces, always, mm. always. What do you think of the sh- slightly shorter pants with the cuff roll up? Yeah, I think that's fun, actually. I really like that. It, it kind of takes you back to a certain time, a certain era. Okay, not everybody's going to wear that, but but it's the vision. It, it, it's showing somebody a contemporary idea and, and something to aspire to. And that's what all uh, fashion, hair, lifestyle is what it's all about. It's all about art being translated. Yeah, it is. It, it, the whole visual perspective of the show was about this whole thing to aspire to and and I think it really set that in the colors the tones the uh, the different textures he used everything it was really innovative and just inspirational and why do you think Woods and Woods has succeeded so well overseas um, because I think he's so in tune with what's going on worldwide I mean fashion is global now and so I think it doesn't matter whether Jonathan is originally from Singapore or Asia or even, you know, the whole of Southeast Asia. He's attuned to what's going on globally. And, and, and that really is why it matters and that's why it, it, it transcends to different markets because his vision and his, uh, his lines and, and, and his whole trends and everything, it, it, it just lines in with everything else that's happening globally and so it's really in tune. Is that why you guys support him so much as well? Yeah, because I think, I mean obviously now we're a Singapore brand, obviously we're a global brand but we're a Singapore brand now. and. You've always got to just support 
what comes from Singapore and when they transcend further and, and they and they progress and they you know they make it up through the through the ranks it's really a proud moment for us because we've all been there we were there at the grassroots and then we see them rise and it, it, it's really wonderful